Hey guys, happy Baby Name Monday. My name's SJ for Brand New. Do hit subscribe if you love baby names or you're choosing a name for your little baby. This is a boy name list for all of these names. A lot of them can be gender neutral as well. And these are all named with a bit of street style to them. So kind of more urban and edgy names. They're all quite traditional though. Haven't gone for the sort of super made up names because I like it when a name is kind of underused traditional with a bit of an edge. So, so I've got 13 names, lucky for some. <laughs> and I will do some shout outs to people who sent in names as well. So at number 13 is the name Bruno. <laughs> no, I've never put it on a list before. I'm laughing because if you're a mum already like me, you will know, or I guess everyone knows, we don't talk about Bruno, the song from Encanto. But this name has become a bit of a crush. It's a really good autumn name as well because it means brown. But it's a really vintage name. So it was around a lot, a very long time ago. There were some saints called Bruno and it just kind of went out of style, but it is back with a bang. It is rising up the charts already. And I predict it will go up when we see the new um, statistics for the UK, which is this week. So yes, hit the little bell if you want to make sure you're here to get the, all the new popular baby names. Um, but I love it. I think Bruno Mars as well has made this really wearable. It is so on trend with the O at the end. And I think it's got this edginess to it where it's a traditional name that is much more unique. You kind of think of it as kind of a stronger kind of name because it's got that strength to it. It sounds bulky. Bruno, but it's also gentle because it means brown and it's got that sort of really soft sounding with the O at the end. So I think it is absolutely on the vibe for this list. At the moment it's number 384 here in the UK, but I was one to watch for 2023 and to see if it starts to edge up our charts again. The next name is the name Faris. Such a lovely name. It's kind of Felix vibes, but Felix has become really, really popular. And even though Felix has the X, I feel like Faris is more edgy because it's a little bit more unique and unusual. And with the S at the end, it's kind of got city vibes because it's a little bit like Paris. Um, traditionally, this would be spelt with one R, but I just really like it with a double R. I like the completeness of it. And it means horseman. So you kind of, again, you've got that kind of edginess to it, that sort of outdoorsiness to it, a bit rugged, but it feels very, very city because it sounds a bit like brand names. And I always kind of go towards brand names. When I think of urban, I really think of like New York, London, Berlin, those types of places. And you can really see a cool little kid being called Faris, really rocking it. Beautiful Kenyan name is the name Kamau. I love it. I absolutely obsessed with it. I think these two syllable short names are really where it's at. We're looking for sort of something a bit edgy and a bit trendy. And it means quiet warrior, which I just think it even sounds like that. Like with the gentle ending. Oh, my phone liked it. <laughs> with the gentle ending, Kamal. So unusual. We've had Kamal around for a really, really long time. So it's really lush to find something more unique and different. I've not been on my radar before, but I'm obsessed with it. And it's unranked here in the UK, but as I said, it's a Kenyan name, so I'm sure it's used a lot over in Kenya. What do you think of it, Kamau? It feels very, very now to me. Kamau is very now. <laughs> the name Heart. The name Heart is actually a stag, so it's a deer. So it's got that sort of strength and edginess to it. And a heart was an older deer um, where a stag grew up a little bit. It was called a heart. So it's a very traditional old name. Um, and now there were four boys named Heart last year. So if you think, oh, it's just a bit feminine because Heart associated with love heart. It's not, it is being used for boys, but only four last year. I love it. One of my middle names is Heartwell, which is my um, Nan's maiden name. And I really think, oh, I should have thought about using Heart. Because I think when we've got Art and Arthur, and you can really imagine a really cool guy rocking the name Heart and give it to them young and let them stand out and be a bit different. I was so surprised there were only 11 boys named Brett last year. This has come back onto the radar a bit. So again, it's traditional, but so underused. And it's a very, very handsome name and very cool. It actually means of Britain. So it was from Brittany, the place when um, Brits went over there and Occupy Brittany. They were called Bretons, like Breton Stripe. It all comes from there. So if you really think, and I was like, gosh, do you know what? A guy in a Breton Stripe, I'm thinking like Harry Styles basically, <laughs> in a Breton Stripe, called Brett. 
It's just a really cool name, one syllable, short and sweet. If you're after this type of vibe, you can't really go far wrong with Brett because it is so simple, but really uber stylish. The next name, I had a bit of a nightmare because I chose it on my list and I've fallen in love with it. Then I was like, oh my gosh, it's got an association, which I'll tell you about, see if you know it, but it's the name Yates. So I really like the name Yates. Again, I think with the S ending, I prefer it to Bates and all those ones with stronger, but Yates looks really cool and edgy. And if you met a guy called Yates, you'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna remember Yates. Um, and I love it and it means gatekeeper. So it's kind of got that city compound kind of feeling that they would have been the gatekeeper of the city or a castle or a large um, fort. They were the Yates. Um, so I was like, this is such a cool name and it's not being ranked. And then I realized there is a really like big chain of pubs <laughs> <laughs> in England called Yates and they're not like um the best pubs they're like you know a cheap brand of pubs and I was like oh my god yeah Yates in Old Town if you're from Swindon like me um we used to go out in Yates wine bar <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, that's probably why it doesn't get used as much, but a lot of you are from all around the world, and I wouldn't let it put me off, actually. I think that if you didn't have that strong association, it's not immediately in your mind, but Yates, really cool. I love occupational names, and this is a really underused one. A name meaning fierce, bold, and free, yes please, is the name Franz. So Franz is the Germanic name for Frank, and those names all originate back to, not France, some people say it's from France, but it's not, it's actually the Frank tribe. So the Frank tribe was an old Germanic tribe. I've talked about it before, because I find it one of the most fascinating histories, because I'm such a word geek, and it's to be Frank. When we say to be Frank, why? It's because the Franken tribe, only the more elder people in the tribe were allowed to speak. So you were a very, very quiet tribe, but then to be frank meant to speak your mind and to speak out. So if you were an elder in the frank tribe, you were allowed to. So I like geek out on that. But Franz, so trendy. Also think about Franz Ferdinand, the band. Uh, Franz Ferdinand was a real person in history and his death was said to spark World War I. So it's an interesting historic name, really underused at the moment. And it's got so much edge and coolness to it. There were five boys named Franz in the UK last year. What do you think of it? Next up, Ubercourt, ranked at number 174 and meaning Lord, is the name Idris. So I love this name at the moment. I'm loving names ending in S. It's so edgy and trendy, but so underused as well. 174 is actually a really good sweet spot for a lot of you. Um, it also can mean interpreter, which I really like for a kind of city urban vibe. There's somebody who lives in a really cosmopolitan, like blending pot of people, this interpreter, but this kind of Lord. <laughs> Idris, you know he's gonna be cool. That's all I'm saying. You do think of Idris Elba because he is obviously a very famous person named Idris, but it is a really trendy name. I love this one and it is unranked and it's the name Gable. So it's so cool and it could even be very similar to Gabriel, which is a really popular name, but no one is using the name Gable. So obviously there's Clark Gable, and you think about the surname as first name, sort of Hollywood glam a little bit, but for me it's just very edgy, very strong name. And it comes from meaning a kind of triangular feature in architecture, so you would see a lot of gable shapes around a city. And I just think it's really interesting where the history comes from. It's quite cute with triangle, like if there's three of you, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> your little gable, um, can also mean a, like a triangle shaped hill as well. And I feel like where Mabel is ramping up the girl charts, it is time for Gable. I feel like it could replace Grayson a little bit, which really boomed recently, and I'm kind of, now that I just know a lot of Graysons, but I do love it, but I feel like Gable is really, I can't stop saying it, Gable, it's beautiful. What do you think of, I've got a couple of place names. I didn't want this to be like a place name list, but I picked a couple that I like the sound of as well, and I picked Bristol. So I'm from near Bristol, out in the West Country in England. Um, I feel like this name gets used more in America, funnily enough, but it's unranked here, but it's beautiful because it means a meeting place by the bridge, and that was how Bristol got its name. Very historic town, but I love it, and I think Bristol on a boy is just really gorgeous, just can really imagine it. Um, a very trendy little boy called Bristol just really works for me. And I loved the name Monaco, but spelt like this, not with the A of the city. I found this name Monaco, and again, I think it is so gorgeous for a boy with all those O sounds. It means advisor, it's an old Latin name, and it's kind of the same as Monica, which is my mother-in-law's name, but Monaco for a boy. I never thought about it like that. And my last two are very vintage nickname, granddad's names, I think really suit a cool urban name list. The first one is Lenny, 
So this is very gender neutral and actually Joe Wicks, the body coach, just called his daughter Lenny Blossom which is amazing, but I love Lenny at the moment. It's got kind of hard man um, vibes to it. You could, again, maybe just because you sort of think of it as strong men called Lenny, um, and I just really like it. Is that from Of Mice and Men? Oh my God, I didn't hear you but <laughs> oh, The tragedy um, of reading Of Mice and Men. It means brave as a lion, so super cool because of that. You could spell it Ellie. N I, um, as Joe Wicks has, but I just like it traditionally for a boy. Funnily enough, the Y ending is more traditional for a boy, so my Freddie is Freddie spelled I E, but actually that would be the more feminine version. Didn't realise that, somewhere in culture that got lost. Um, but the Y, really, really lovely. And obviously, you could have a long one like Leopold or Leonard if you wanted a long form. But I liked Lenny by itself and has the edge to me. And my last one is so cool, it's the name it's Sid. Such a trendy name, just got edge to it. Obviously it is short for Sydney, meaning a uh, wide meadow, but just by itself, Sid suddenly takes on its whole new vibe of being so cool. You can just imagine little Sid out in the city, smashing life. Um, I love it, I like that it's got the nature vibe to it. It also makes you think a bit punky, a bit like Sid Vicious, and more rock and roll, just being called Sid. And I loved it was short and sweet and one syllable, which we're seeing as a trend for boys. So that was my urban name boy list. I must check, because I shouted out on my Instagram. I've got my own personal Instagram, SJ Strum, come find. But also we have Baby Name Envy Instagram, which now has around 25,000 followers. Loads and loads of dilemmas there for interested in like helping people name babies as well. So there's loads of baby name accounts who have entered, so who have sent me ideas. So fearless names, I love Roswell. That's really cool. Roswell totally fits for this. Now, I was playing around with like Roscoe and those types of names, but I've mentioned them before. But Roswell really suits as well. She's also said towns, spelled T O W N E S. I love that towns. That's really really cool. Nat McGuinness, she says she has two boys, Bo and Rue. <laughs> That's perfect, R-A-U-X. Pregnant again, so hopefully she might find something on this list because she feels like her boy's names kind of fit into this one. Albie and Mummy says, Claudio. That's such a cool name. Well done, I love that, Claudio. That is so on this vibe. So on this vibe, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> love it. Baby named Unicorn has a gorgeous account. She's in a really cool one, Sakari, which is a form of Zachary, but it's Sakari. That's really unusual, isn't it? I really like that she had a ton of names. Um, Hello, I'm Fezzi has said that she once taught a little boy in London who was called Thames. <laughs> I've heard that before, Thames. I live on the River Thames, so could be one that we would use. Lots of people are saying Urban, and Megan Rose Ward and a few other people said Hendrix. So my husband is Hendrix. I always find it funny when it's a Hendrix. He gets called Hendrix all the time. And I'm like, here's not edgy Urban Cool. <laughs> He's a Henrik, which is a Henry. <laughs> um, but he's very lovable and lovely. Uh, right, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks to everyone who joined in over on Instagram. If you would like to request a list for next week, then pop it in the comment section below. Keep adding to this name list in the comment section below with any ideas that you would think would work for this name list. And I will see you on my next video. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love you to subscribe. Um, there's always room for more gorgeous baby namers here at this community. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.